The topic of this video is mathematical models building functions. We now continue the previous problem. Okay, so we're dealing with the same problem. New question, what is the domain of A? Now, I'd like to mention that even though we are given an equation here, we cannot simply go through the four steps for finding the domain of an equation because we will not get a correct answer. Um, let's talk through the four steps just to remind you what they are. Uh, when someone gives you an equation and they ask you for the domain, you start with all real numbers, you have any even radicands greater than or equal to zero, any log arguments greater than zero, and any denominators not equal to zero. Well, if you look at our equation here, there are no even radicands or logs or denominators, so we would arrive at a conclusion that the domain is all real numbers. However, there is an additional restriction that is given to us in the instructions of the problem. It says that the first point of our rectangle must be somewhere on our blue parabola, the second point must be the origin, the third must be on the positive y-axis, and the fourth must be on the positive x-axis. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at some possible rectangles, and we're going to draw some conclusions about which ones are acceptable and which ones are not acceptable. Okay, let's begin by picking a point over here. Let's imagine that this is the point that we choose on our parabola. We're going to go ahead and make a rectangle using that point. So we're going to drop a line straight down from here. And we're going to draw a line straight across from here to make our rectangle. And remember that the origin is also a point on our rectangle. So technically, we also have this right here. And we have this part of the y-axis right here forming our rectangle. Now, is this an acceptable rectangle? The answer is no. And the reason why is because it says that the fourth point must be on the positive x-axis. And this right here is a negative value, which means that this green rectangle is not acceptable. OK, let's try another rectangle. Let's pick this point right down here as the point for our point on the parabola and make our rectangle out of that. So we have a point that goes straight up and down from there. We have a point that goes straight left and right from there to the y-axis. And then that forms our rectangle. Now, is this an acceptable rectangle? Here are the four corners. There, 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 and there. Is that an acceptable rectangle? The answer is no, because this point, the third point, is on the negative y-axis, and the instructions say that it has to be on the positive y-axis. OK, so we found two bad rectangles. Let's see if we can find a good one. So I'm going to pick another point. I'm going to pick a point right here. And once again, I'm going to draw my rectangle based on that point. So I have to draw a line straight across, straight down, And from there, I'll have the four points of my rectangle. One, two, three, and four points of my rectangle. Now, is this an acceptable rectangle? The answer is yes. The upper right-hand corner is sitting on the blue curve on the parabola. The lower left corner is the origin. This point is on the positive y-axis. It's up. And this point is on the positive x-axis. It's right. So the orange rectangle is acceptable, the green rectangle is not, the red rectangle is not. So what conclusion can we draw based on these diagrams? Where is it OK to draw our rectangle, and where is it not? Well, the answer to that question is it depends on the quadrant. So this particular point was in quadrant 1. If you remember your quadrants for graphing, the quadrants look like this. If this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, this is quadrant 4. So if our rectangle is anywhere in quadrant 1, which would be from here all the way to here, then we're good. If our point sitting as the upper right-hand corner is anywhere in quadrant 1, then we're good. But if it's in quadrant 2, or if it's in quadrant 3, or if it's in quadrant 4, then it's no good 
because it will violate the rules that are set up in the problem. So with this discussion, we now have everything we need in order to answer the question, what is the domain? We know that the upper right-hand corner of the rectangle has to be somewhere in between this and that. And if we were to write down the actual locations of this point right here, that would be 0, 9. And the location of this down here would be 3, 0. So if the location of our orange dot has to be somewhere in between those extremes, then that means that the x-coordinate must be somewhere in between the x-coordinates of those two points meaning it has to be somewhere in between 0 and 3. And therefore, that is our domain. Our domain is 0, 3. This is not an ordered pair. It's an interval. 0 is an x value. It's the x coordinate of that point. 3 is another x value. It's the x coordinate of that point. And the reason for the parenthesis here and here is because if you actually included the number 0 with a bracket, then that would be saying that you could have your orange dot sitting right on top of the y-axis. But if the orange dot is sitting on top of the y-axis, then there wouldn't be a width to your rectangle. You'd have nowhere to go to get to the y-axis. You would already be there. And so the width of your rectangle or your base would be zero, and therefore you wouldn't have a rectangle. And so that's the reason why you have to have parentheses here. Okay, so that is the answer to that question. Uh, in the uh, next series, we uh, in the next video, we are going to talk about the... Uh, the graphing utility Desmos and how it can help us to finish this problem.